This might be the greatest comeback story ever told. I hope you're ready for the orange and the black tigers and lady tigers of Lawrenceville, Virginia, St. Paul's College. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for a very special 100 HBCUs in 100 days, powered by the number one mobile reader for the culture, the underrated report. Link is in the bio. And today is all about St. Paul's College. Yo, the pre-sale is on and it is cracking. If you're interested in one of our orange, iron, black history shirts or the pink ones, they are available on the website for pre-sale. This is pre-sale, meaning they won't be shipped off to like the first week of February, but you do save $5 if you purchase now. So go get it. Link in the bio. On September 24th, 1888, with fewer than 12 students, St. Paul Normal and Industrial School, led by founder and principal James Solomon Russell, was started in a building known as the Saw Building. They quickly outgrew their facilities and a three-room frame structure had to be built with funds contributed by the Reverend James Saul. 1922, they started the Department of Teacher Training, and as a result, a large percentage of the teachers of elementary and secondary schools in Virginia and the surrounding states graduated from St. Paul's College. And from the very beginning, they were for the culture and for the community. They actually used to supply ice for the Southern Railroad, and they supplied water and electricity for the town of Lawrenceville. In 1987, they came out with this dope program called the Single Parent Support System, and it was the only one like it in the U.S. It was on-campus residential education program designed for single parents with two or fewer children in between the ages of two and nine, which means if you were a single mom or a single dad, you could actually have a place to stay, educate, and build your future. That's dope. Unfortunately, as many do, this school fell on hard times so hard in June 2012 after numerous financial and accreditation issues, along with a failed merger, the college had to close its doors. But because the school was so dope over its 125 year history, people actually started collecting artifacts and preserving them enough to open up their own museum. The James Solomon Russell and St. Paul's College Museum and Artifacts. They did such a dope job that the Smithsonian took note like we need to get in with y'all. There's this group called SPC for Life and they come together with the purpose to purchase and reopen St. Paul's College in the fall of 2023. Their mission is to reclaim St. Paul's College as the beacon of progress and advancement for African-Americans with a diverse and inclusive campus and we here at Equally Close are rooting for you. Notable alumni, the first woman ever to earn a doctorate from Ohio State University, Miss Helen G. Edmonds. And NFL Hall of Famer, cornerback Daryl Green. Shout out to you, St. Paul's College. We see you. We rooting for you. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to get your free copy of the Underrated Report for more dope stories just like this. Tap the link in the bio. Tap the picture. Drop your email. We'll get it to you as soon as we can. Don't forget, black education is black excellence. So let's keep this thing going. Who's next?